Hello, I'm um, back to the Mill Farm Fishery again. It's one of my um, favourite fisheries, I think. Um, but it's not a private lake. Um, I'm at the other end of the lake this time, on Specy Lake. Uh, fancy giving this a go. It's a nice sunny day. A bit of a wind coming across, but it's not. A, it's not a, um, a cold wind as such. Kind of pretty much the same temperature. Like I say, I'm at the other end of the lake. Um, usually, I'm down in the bottom corner. Uh, down here. Right up at the top this time, and uh, there's no one fishing up here, which is quite nice and quite windy. So, hopefully, this um, the sound's not too muffled. But like I said, there's literally no one up here. There's one guy down on the favourite swim, one guy down on the swim that I'm usually on, and another guy um, on the islands um, with his mate. But apart from that, there's hardly anyone here. Mill, mill, mill pond, there's two people and no one on Hammer Pond, so it's quite glorious to be honest. Um, I figured I'd film this because hopefully it'd be a good session. I'm only after a 20. Um, 24 came out yesterday apparently from across the way. And I'm casting to pretty much the same sort of spot. Um, just had two runs. Uh, one being 13-2 common, which was quite nice. I didn't think it was going to be that big until it came out of the, out the water. And just as I was about to film that and say, me fish and all that. Um, my other rod went off from the corner there, but that was only a little one, so I slipped the, the 13 pounder back to play with the little one, um, where I should have just let the little one run around for a little while, which is a shame. The little one's probably uh, six or seven pounds or so, uh, another common, but it's pretty keen, pretty fiery, so um, yeah, not too bad. The big common gave me a run probably, um, probably 10 15 minutes, so that was relatively good fun, but I've only been fishing here for probably uh, literally 20 minutes now. So throw the rod in, little tiny pellet, little tiny bag with a yellow topper. Um, I spoke to a guy that's standing behind me as he wandered off. The alarm went off but I wasn't ready for it. So um, I had to get my mat ready and everything but I lost that one. So that's not too bad. But then lobbed it back in again two minutes later, the 13 common come. But um, yeah, so it's looking good so far. The fish are in front of me anyway. The problem with this place is that there's there's never any signs of fish. One or two crashes here or there, but probably per day. Not really much more than that. So um, it's really, really difficult. But the wind's blowing into this corner here, so um, it seems like a good bet. I've had two runs already within 20 minutes. So, so um, hopefully a 20 will wander his way up here. If it does, I'll be thrilled. If it doesn't, it gives me a good challenge for another day, I guess. But um, I'm not going to be here for long. I've turned up here probably at 12 o'clock and then um, probably fish until 4 or 5, maybe 6 depending on how the session goes. But um, it's quite a nice day. So uh, let's see how we get on, eh? I think it's only a baby. Yeah, it's only a little one, a little common. The other alarm, oh hang on, might be a mirror. The other alarm went off a minute ago. And uh, dropped that one. And this one went straight off exactly the same time. So bring him in and try and get the other rod out. There's the other rod. Get ready to get set up again. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. I'll net that and then uh, see how much he weighs. Alright, so, um, so far. Uh, three commons, one at 13.2, another small one, and another small one after that. I've lost uh, three now, so um, three, three to the carp and three to me. So we've still got a long time left yet. To be fair, we've only been here for an hour, so um, this is the best session here so far. Although they are small, but it's still the most I've had from this uh, from this this lake. So. Um, it's starting to look good, and uh, there's a few pickups. Bailiff said that it's been fishing better in the afternoon, so if it's better than it is now, then uh, we're going to do all right. But um, yeah, it's starting to look reasonably good. Hope, unfortunately, the, the little ones weren't worth really filming. To be fair, um, we've all seen little carp before. The first one wasn't a bad one, but because that other run went off whilst I had him in there, I had to grab hold of it. But um, hopefully, another one will come along and we'll get we'll get the film there. Get the film out and start filming that one. But yeah, let's see, let's see. 
Anyway, it's starting to look good, so that's a good sign. So, uh, what am I doing? Where am I fishing? Where am I fishing first? That's my marker, the tree, and I'm halfway across, so I'm just here. That's my uh, right hand rod, and then my left hand rod. Oh, we can't quite see it. Let me move around, so we don't fall in the lake. Uh, there's a tree just through there. Uh, that tree, that tree there, I'm just beneath it. Just beneath it there. I'm literally fishing a little tiny, 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 tiny PVA pellet. Very, very small, bloodworm, permit, carp, pellet, um, all sorts of little small pellets. I'm also fishing a little halibut pellet, very, very small halibut pellet on the um, on the hair, and then tipped with a bit of yellow, yellow colour. Exactly the same as that lad was fishing last time, um, and he kept pulling in small carp and lots of carp, so uh, I'm giving it a go today, and it seems to be so working. I might, um, might start baiting this margin up down here just to give that a go in a little while. It starts to go quiet out in the middle and needs to go somewhere else to fish also. So I've got a bait there down beside the tree. It might give me a bit of chance, so uh, I'm going to pop some bait over there. So just over there, uh, really on there, the fish crashing three times in a row. I wonder what that is. It's funny this place because there's no movement for half an hour or so, and then this uh, right hand rod here starts to bleep, and then all of a sudden the fish starts crashing over on my left hand side. It's, uh, starting to freak me out a bit. So it's really weird. The um, the sun's gone in behind the clouds now and uh, it's starting to get a bit nippy but there's fish down in the corner here so that's a good sign. But um got to try and get some uh, fish on the camera haven't we? So um, I might cast into that that corner there. I'm uh, at the moment I'm cast to to here but there's fish crashing over there so I think I might move over there. Oh here we go again. So the bobbin's pulled up tight and there's something on the end, so I'm going to hit that. I'm going to so hit we're, that. Okay. I hit that, and we're into a fish. Feels like a reasonably good one, actually. He's giving him some stick, and the clutch is pretty tight, and he took quite a bit of line straight away. But now I said that he's a good one, he's probably going to turn out to be three pounds or something. But, uh, yeah, this seems alright. Seems alright. Took off over there, and now he's back under here, so uh, let's start playing this fish. It does seem heavy. It does seem heavy, so. Let's be hopeful, hey, let's be hopeful. There you are then, first one to the camera. Still very lively. Just over 10. Just under 11, so he's, uh, he's uh, 10, 14. So, uh, nice common again. But uh, he gave it a good scrap. I thought it might be a bit bigger, but he's good enough for me. Lovely little common. So let's get him back. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the fifth one on its way in, hopefully. Pulling again, just from the uh, the back corner there. Uh, I'm playing the fish and uh, filming at the same time, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but it's worth a laugh, isn't it? So he's just creeping along here. It doesn't feel particularly heavy, but um, he did shoot off. He gave me a run, so that's good. So hopefully the next shot. Oh, is he going to come up? Next shot is going to be me landing him. So let's see. He's not big, he's um we're just under a double again from what I can see. He's kicking around, he's uh giving me a bit of a pull, which is all we need really. But uh let's have a little, let him have a play around for a little while and then let's see if we can get him in. I'm trying to pull his head up a little bit perhaps. And uh, just swimming closer. Just swimming closer. Where's he going? Oh, Got to let him tire himself out. I'll bring him in towards the net. It's funny how they uh, choose their direction. Let's try and get his head up. It'll be interesting to see it. Taking a bit of line. A kick. Strong little bastard. Come on. Strong for a little, little bastard. Quite 
quite happy with my rigs at the moment because it seems to be absolutely nailing the bottom lip. Um, so I'm quite happy with them at the moment. Just still waiting for the bloody 20s to come along. The sun's sitting behind the clouds and coming back out again. I look like a knob because I'm talking to myself, but there's no one here, so who gives a crap? And we're fishing. Fifth one for the Specy Lake. And that's because I changed the pellet, I think, because it's a smaller pellet in a little bag. Just slung that in the corner where that other one was fishing uh, and kicking around earlier on. And uh, it got picked up about 20 minutes later. So uh, yeah, we're having a good time, we're having a good time. I'm going to try and play this fish, get him in the net, and hopefully uh, we can show you what he looks like. Right, so there we are, another fat common. This doesn't look massive, so I'm going to throw him back because my other rod's going off. Uh, getting a few bleeps on that one. So I'm going to let him back. It's probably about 14, maybe a bit less. Maybe about 13 again. So I'm going to get him so back two quickly. rods out of the water. Well, that one over there, that the first common on the left-hand side, that was over right in the bay where that fish was crashing earlier on. 20 minutes later, he um, he come back out, and I guess it's the same fish as uh, another common. They've all been common so far. Um, but supposedly they're not so common, but um, there you go. So that one's screened off. So I picked him picked him up, got him in the net, and the other alarm started going off. Like I said, it's all or nothing here for some reason. But um, at the moment, we've got absolutely no rods in the water. That one's getting ready, and that one's dumped in the floor from the first one. But the second run there, when I bought that common out, um, he was on when I grabbed hold of it. But he must have been working the hook loose, because uh, I bought him back, and then uh, he just flicked it out. But, Never mind, he did not seem all that big, but um get the rods back out again and hopefully um it'll carry on like this. This is this is working out really really well for me. Um, so that was uh well I've lost count, I'll have to look back in the videos to see what it was. I think that was the that was the fifth. That was the fifth common, nearly the sixth. I've lost the sixth, so I've lost uh three or four so far. And so, uh, yeah, we're going really well. So I'm going to cast back out again, and hopefully there'll still be more fish in front of me. So, so uh, here we are again. It's just about a film. And uh, talking to the camera about how mental this has been. And uh, the right rod goes off again. Um, that one's out in the middle of the lake, where no one else is fishing. They're just all sitting out there, I guess, in the sun. But um, I was just about to say that I wasn't going to come fishing today, because... Uh, it's the missus birthday weekend, but um, she started nagging about some crap I didn't want to listen to her out, so I just walked out and went fishing, so this is excellent for me. What a bloody good choice. So uh, hopefully she don't get too pissed off, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm happy enough. But this one's not a big one. You can see by the way he's thrashing around. Uh, he's a little in. He's going to be under a double, I think, so uh, I'll bring him in. I won't piss him around too much. I'll bring him in and then... Uh, Let's go from there, eh? So back in this bloody moment again. There's a fish there, nice mirror. And there's a fish over there. Bloody pulling my line. So uh, I'm going to turn that rod off. And uh, keep on with this one. So obviously I'm stuck with this one now. If we lose that one, we lose that one. But uh, yeah, let's try and get this one in. This one's pissing me around. It's been about ten minutes now. And uh, he's, a, he's a scrapper. He's just woken up. Because it's the first mirror, hopefully we land this one, but uh, yeah, let's see how we get on, eh? Let's see how we get on, like I always say, let's see how we get on. So here we are then, first mirror. This is the uh, seventh fish now, I think. I keep losing count. I think it's the seventh. It's coming in at 12 and a half pounds. Mount is absolutely but uh, give up this strap. It took me a while to get him in actually. Quite a size. Quite a size. See his mouth? Absolutely destroyed. Nice fish, nice fish. But uh, yeah, not bad, not bad guy, not bad guy. Get him back, see what sort of other rod's doing. He started to tear off while I was playing this one. But um, yeah, this is going alright, this is going alright. So uh, here's our biggest so far, it's another common, this time we're looking at 15.2, so uh, they're getting bigger, they're getting better, so we're still waiting for 20. That one, I, um, I was showing you that last one, 
this one picked up and then um, when I put the other one back, hit this rod, see if it's still there, and he was. Lovely big, big old common there. Uh, like I say, the biggest one so far. But um, I was quite fortunate this one. I thought he was going to lose the hook. He never did. And uh, he seems happy enough. It's going to be a good fight. And uh, the best put him back because he's starting to flip around now. So here we are again with uh, here we are again with uh, two rods out of the water. And we're going back again, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So hopefully the next one's going to be a twenty. Um, I'm not sure all the time. But um, that one was a nice one. That nice size, very very lean, not very nice. And I'm um, not very big fat belly on him, so uh, 15 pounds is going to be nice when he's bigger. But um, we're still trying, we're still trying for the 20. I think that was the 8th, I'm pretty sure it's the 8th, but um, it could be the 7th, could be the 9th, I don't know, I don't know anymore, but still waiting for the 20, that's the main thing. So um, I'm going to get the rods back and then see how much time we've got left and then uh, hopefully we get a 20. So I mean, it's getting exciting now, it's getting good. Okay, so I'm pretty good. sure that was the 7th fish. Looking back at the videos, I think it's the 7th. You guys probably know because you're watching this. Um, it's been three, three and a half hours now, and I've had seven and lost three or four. So um, this is the best session so far on this lake for me. Um, they're not massive, by all means. They're not massive, but um, considering it's by the October, middle, middle of October, nearly the end of October, we're not doing too bad. The wind's chopping over, and the sun's coming out every now and again, and I'm still getting bleeds on my right hand rod, so that might go soon. I've not used this um, this baited area yet down in the margin here I've been putting a few uh, pellets in there just to keep it going but we might try that later if we need to if we don't need to we won't need to so uh, we'll see I'm, I'm not going to be here for much longer this is um, this has been bloody good for me um, yeah I'm waiting for the 20 but um, still it's the weekend I don't want to spend all of my time here I think I've done uh, relatively well I'm relatively happy to what I've got so far but um yeah, maybe we'll give it another hour or so. I've got another four PVA bags that I've made there because I ran out after all of those fish, so um, I didn't have too many with me. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to use those. Um, if I use those quicker than an hour, I'll go. If I'm not use those within the hour, then uh, in an hour's time I'll be leaving. But um, we're doing okay so far. This is not too bad at all. But um, I've been quite fortunate. It looks as though the fish have moved up to this end and we've got the right spot, we've got the right swim. There's no one else over here. I think there's only three people on the lake. That's still bleeping, it's being pulled along. So um, hopefully um, that'll go off soon again. But um, there, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Okay, well that's it for today. Um, I'm pretty happy with um, that hole today. It's uh, seven, eight, I think it's seven. Might be eight, I think it's seven. And I lost four or five. Um, but I'm happy with that. It's four o'clock now. Um, I'm going to get going. I've got half an hour journey back home. Um, it's getting a bit cold now. The sun's gone and the shade's behind me now. So um, I'm going to going to start packing up. I think um, I didn't try my little spot in the margin. Um, it's not really been very busy down there. It's not I'm saying that. It's just starting to bubble now. So I might plonk the right hand rod down there for ten minutes or so and, and see how we get on. But I've got a, uh, a little Facebook page, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash cavking1. So um, have a look on that. Um, I'll be keeping my videos up to date. I've got loads and loads of pictures on there. Um, I'll be doing questions and stuff like that. So um, have a look on there and like that if you uh, if you do like it. Um, it would be great to have a few members on there just to uh, chat with a few people. So um, have a look at that. Um, also look at everyone else's. Uh, Botlin. Uh, fishing Dorset, I think it is, um, and all the rest of them. Uh, Kingfisher, 45, 22. There's quite a few around. Quite a few around. And Total Carpin as well. So yeah. Um, and Chris Fennell. Chris Fennell. What's Chris Fennell's one? Carp King, I think. But I'll, I'll put a list down below. But um, have a look at those as well because they're all really, really, really good. So um, hopefully this has been an entertaining video. It's been the most pop, uh, mo most busy video, should we say? So, um, yeah, thanks for watching again, but um, hopefully you don't get bored of me keep coming back to Mill Farm, but Mill Farm's going to be my um, 20 lake, I think, this is the one where I'm most likely to get a 20, so I'm going to keep trying, um, keep coming back here, we know what works now, so um, I don't know if we've been lucky, or, or I've been lucky, or just picked the right spot, or 
because I've changed the bait to smaller pellet. I haven't got a clue, but it's worked anyway, so um, I'm happy with that. But yeah, cheers for watching, cheers for um, getting involved, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, a 20 will come along soon. Cheers.